two, three. First race on the hill. There's nothing more independent than going down the hill on your own. I mean, it's entirely you and the car and you and the hill, so it's something that's really exciting to do. As you look around race day, there's a lot of flags flying. There's a lot of, you know, red, white, and blue going on. It's a very good celebration of our freedom to be out here. It's as American as apple pie, really. Something that the town does every 4th of July. And the kids learn how to use tools. They learn how to win. They learn how to lose. Most kids in town want to do this. It's like a part of our heritage here. Driver, let's see your brake. Break up. My parents actually met racing here. So it's kind of like in our blood. So we've been racing for about like three decades now. This is our 69th year. It would have been last year, but the pandemic made us stop at the race. Believe me, I was heartbroken. So uh, this is exciting. So we should get a good race. Oh, there goes a cone. Oh, no, two cones. I got my two grandsons racing and my great niece and my great nephews racing. Go so fast, right? You know, I was really surprised of how many kids I got this year. I had 40 kids, which I didn't think I would have. It's going to be tight. Over the couple of years, my brother and my cousins have been doing this, so I've been able to watch. So my main goal is to beat my brother's time. A lot of preparation goes into the car. Basically, start with a kit that you order, and you have to add in all the steering, the braking, the weights. The youngest that you can race is seven years old, and it goes up to 21 years old in the master's division. Yeah, this is the big race where we get to decide who goes to Akron, Ohio to represent the town. It means a lot to the town. It means a lot to my family. It's a sign of better things. We're just here gathering and having fun like everything used to be. 